guys are new here this is where I make lots of food videos of all types of things things that are lazy but at the same time fun it's mainly one or the other cuz I'm a very lazy person but I also like trying new things if you guys are here from my main channel thank you so much for coming over here let me know down below if you guys are from my main channel however if you guys are new here this video is kind of like a look into what type of videos I used to have on my main channel which I'm now bringing to this channel here Alright, so you guys know I'm lazy and you guys know I'm very simple when it comes to everyday meals and since it's, you know, school time for everybody and some people are in college, university, whatever I figured this video was appropriate since I'm in Texas again and this is where your budget is limited, your trips to the grocery store are limited, there's no car and you've kind of just got to deal with what you've got So I've got three different pasta recipes that I actually eat myself because I generally prefer them and these ones are so, so, so simple and they're so alike each other because obviously there's no marinara and I'm using ingredients that I'm pretty sure that most of you guys have at home already because I know that you guys are in college and you guys can't be afforded all these different ingredients slash sometimes you might not even have anything in your house to eat and in those cases these recipes are what you gotta do in this video you'll also see that these portions are quite Small. So make the portions as big as you want, however much you need to eat. I just made them small because I made them all in one day. I don't want to waste food and I kind of like my food pretty fresh. So I don't really want to like make a lot and then pack it in the fridge and eat it later. I kind of just like making it on the whim. Other than that, let's just get right into this video. Alright, so let's just start off with roasted garlic pasta. And this pasta is meant for if you seriously have like nothing in your fridge. In a warm pan, just drizzle a bunch of olive oil in there because this is going to make your pasta moist. And then just add in however many garlic cloves you want. I added quite a bit since I really like garlic, but if you don't like garlic as much, just skim on it a little bit. Minced onions are totally optional, you don't need this. I generally make this without it when I'm at home since I don't have it, but it just adds a little bit more flavor. Then just saute it all together, trying to get the flavors of the garlic and onion to really infuse with the olive oil. When you notice the color of your garlic start to darken, add some oregano in there. This is a staple in my kitchen and I absolutely love adding it to everything. Also, please make sure that you do not burn the garlic because that is a totally different taste for what we're going for right here. At a certain point though, you'll start to see your garlic turn brown really quickly, so that means take it off the heat and it's time to mix all of that into your pasta. And then just mix it all together. If you still feel like your pasta is a little dry, feel free to add more olive oil, whatever you need. And then just season it with a little bit of salt and then a little bit of pepper. And then this is just the final mix. Mix it all around and it's pretty much ready to serve. But if you're the type to want to Instagram your food and make it look all photogenic and everything, you can always just garnish with the extra roasted garlic and as well as the oregano and now it just looks very pretty and brag worthy. Next up is Danielle Nye's favorite pasta of all time. We eat this all the time just because it's so delicious and flavorful. In whatever bowl you plan to serve in, add in a bunch of shredded lettuce and then put in some salt and pepper. You don't have to necessarily put it on now. You can kind of just put it on with the pasta. I just prefer to have my lettuce directly seasoned. Just personal preference. And to finish off the lettuce, just a light drizzle of olive oil. While your pasta is warm, I generally do this while it's in the pot so that the garlic can really infuse a lot better with the heat, but for aesthetic purposes, I'm doing it in a bowl. After the garlic, add a drizzle of olive oil. Then add in the seasoning, which is some salt, some pepper, And you know, I like my oregano, so we're gonna put that in too. And then add a squeeze of lime. You can add however much you want. I generally like things really sour, so I obviously add a lot, but I think normal people would probably want less than how much I add. That's about all the ingredients you need. You can always add more or less depending on how you prefer your pasta, which is kind of why I never really give you guys measurements for these things, because you're supposed to be able to customize it to your own taste but to just mix everything together. 
Now all you have to do is just add this in with the lettuce from before and mix it all together. Also, this part is optional, but Dania prefers to have a light drizzle of honey on top. I prefer to have mine sour, so I usually don't put honey, but I'd say give this a try if you're into it. And finally, we have a margarita-inspired pasta, which is inspired by the pizza that I love the most. A margarita pizza isn't a margarita without tomatoes, so just add in a bunch of chopped tomatoes. Actually, I don't know if that's a fact or not, so um, just, just put the tomatoes in. A drizzle of olive oil goes next. Next, a drizzle of balsamic vinegar. And then some pepper. Now, usually I would also add some chopped basil, but I did not have any, so I'm substituting for oregano, which isn't as good as basil. So please, 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 if you have basil, use it. But don't be me and forget to get it and have to use oregano. Which kind of tastes good too, it's just not the same. And then after that, you're done. If you do want it to look pretty, you can garnish with the basil. In my case, I'm using oregano just because I forgot the basil. But nonetheless, it looks very pretty and Instagram worthy to brag about. If you guys made it to the end of this video, let me know down below if you guys have tried any of these recipes or if you have any other simple recipes that are no marinara related. Let us know down below for all of us that are on a budget and slash don't really have much food in their fridges. Please make sure you give this video a big thumbs up if you do like it and subscribe for more videos. I will see you guys later. Bye bye!